From the exploitation of true crime to lying and clickbait titles, Anna Oop is no stranger to controversy. Being one of the biggest gossip channels with over 2 million subscribers, she has built a reputation around making certain situations look the way she wants them to look. Today, we will be covering one of the worst gossip channels and explaining why it is so. Firstly, it may be easy to call me hypocritical for saying Anna Oop's thumbnails are clickbait because mine do look a bit similar. I will argue, though, that Anna uses AI and other filters to make her subjects' faces look extra dramatic, which I do not. Anyway, when I first noticed Anna Oop, I saw she had a thing about the D'Amelios. She probably has over like 50 videos of just petty D'Amelio drama. In fact, her most viewed video is the topic on the D'Amelios. The first reason why I believe she may be problematic is her exploitation of true crime. If you check out her true crime channel, she highly photoshops the victims or whoever is the main subject to the point that they don't even look real. And she adds the most eye-catching title, aka something to the line of brother, stabs, rapes, and eats baby sister alive. Like, there's no respect for the victims. I'm not saying all true crime channels do this. Plenty are very respectful, but this just doesn't feel that way. Imagine you, like, survive a school shooting and do your best to move on just to have some drama YouTuber bozo post a Photoshop version of yourself in a video thumbnail with the title being Evil Child Sh- And kick 20 classmates. Shocker. All I'm saying is if I die from some horrible death or murder, and see Anna Oop exploiting my death for views, I'm going to haunt her. Next, Anna goes after kids half the time on her main channel, such as Piper Rockout. While Piper isn't really like a kid kid, she's still technically underage because she's 16, and recently Anna Oop got into some kind of internet battle with her. Piper reacted to like one of the billions of videos Anna, who, reminder, is either in her 20s or 30s, while Piper is 16, made a video on, and Piper... I mean, understandably so, got mad about this random hate train coming from some 20-year-old. And Anna responded to the same video titled, You'll never guess the title. Piper responded to me. Piper, no. No, Piper. You don't understand. You can't give these people what they want. They want your attention. Anyway, most of Anna's comments under that video were oddly very supportive. Saying things like, You handled this maturely. Did she, though? Did she? Next, Anna Oops steals content from smaller creators. This channel is too consistent to be a one-man operation. It produces videos way too often, on the daily. It's a content farm, as the Asher Show would say. There's no way that one single person is doing all of this. This is a team. There's one person that does the voice acting for all these videos, but there's got to be somebody who's scripting it, someone who's coming up with the ideas for the video. Speaking of Asher, he posted a video a little while back on Anna, which was titled, This Tea Channel is Stealing My Videos, where he explains how Anna copies his videos through the thumbnails, quotes, and more. Half the time, she even uses his voice to narrate parts of his videos, rarely crediting him. He's only one of the many victims of Anna Oop. She also has been caught stealing content from Mr. Ballin as well for her true crime episodes. You have a full TikTok account to go through and choose pictures off of. Why choose the one that I chose? Nothing here in the description saying that she got the idea from anyone else, so this is her idea. Asher goes on to show multiple clear as day examples of Anna Oop caught red-handed copying him and not giving him any credit. Like, look, she just stole this Mr. Beast thumbnail he made about, like, Mr. Beast copycats. Like, she literally just stole it. It seems like Anna Oop is taking all of her ideas from other people. And if you still have your fingers on the keyboard, ready to comment, you're just a hater. I love Anna Oop. She does so much. Here's yet another point. She puts in such low effort by valuing quantity over quality that she literally doesn't even research her videos correctly. She has been caught copying Mr. Ballin's scripts and somehow still misspelling the people's names subtitles or pronouncing or using the wrong names in her videos. And before I move on and show you specific examples of her doing this, I want to quick show a clip Asher shows in his video where she literally uses his voice to narrate parts of her video and gives him no credit. And who is speaking at the beginning of this video? Spaghetti! Spaghetti sauce! Beatball! I hate people that waste food. Why do you have to waste food on TikTok? No thanks. Oh, come on. Just a little bit. It's like the more food you waste, the more views it gets. Why? I hate people that waste food. Why do you have to waste food on TikTok? It's like the more food you- In fact, in one of her most recent videos, she made a certain name mistake and people let her know, boy. 
I love Anna Oop, but I don't know if I can trust her anymore at this point because she didn't even do the research to know how to pronounce their names. Can we appreciate how Anna Oop didn't put any effort into researching and just writes the script off the top of her head? Oh, she got called out. I really love how we all just disagree with Anna because she really needs to check herself and actually do her proper research. You get the idea. They just continue to keep on calling her out because it's clear she just she doesn't value making the content good. She just values maximizing as much money as she can possibly make. I watch so many different channels and they always seem to get better. A majority of them you watch, the more subscribers they get and the longer they go on, the art increases the editing incre everything gets better but she's just stayed the same because she doesn't value getting better she just values making the most videos as possible and just getting money and the last point i have to make is she puts her sponsorship advertisements in like the most awkward and insane spots of all of her videos like look at this example it's literally the most disrespectful thing i've ever seen on youtube headed to Biddick Drive in the Keam area of Plymouth, UK. Inside the house, they found the body of a 51-year-old woman. Whoever had taken her life had used a shotgun. But the trail of carnage didn't stop there. It was about to get a whole lot worse. Thanks to Word Farm Adventure. Basically her saying to the victim, you died? L. I can use you for my video now and I'll just put a cringy sponsorship right in the middle of the video. Overall, just a very soulless channel soulless content and most people just watch get nothing from it and just keep scrolling after watching this video you can do two things one you can dislike the video and continue to watch the brain rotting charlie d'amelio anna oop dramas and live your life watching a pathetic content farm send out your daily dose of brain cell killing tea or you could like the video and support small youtubers like me and asher show instead of soulless content farms because if you don't i'll find another way to get views so, Charlie has now unfollowed Steph on TikTok and loves, this is not looking good. Let's get into it. <music>